Willie Williams hates guns, and for good reason. His 17-year-old son was gunned down four years ago after leaving a movie theater. Unfortunately, uh, he got into an altercation with some young men. They tried to walk away, they shot him. You can't really cope with that, you know, when a loved one's taken from you, it's just unbelievable. Will was named for his dad. Just two weeks before he died, he signed on for a basketball scholarship with Arizona State. The only people I feel that should have guns are the, you know, law enforcement, the Army, the Navy, you know, not people on the street that's out to rob and hurt people. Williams firmly believes Chicago's gun ban saves lives, and so do many special interest groups. In the city of Chicago, uh, this law has allowed for, you know, 12,000 illegal guns to be, you know, recovered on almost an annual basis in the city of Chicago. Just last year, Chicago police reported more than 450 homicides, most of them gun related. But those who oppose the ban say this rate calls for a need for greater education and owner responsibility not restriction. It's a God-given right that everyone should be able to live in relative uh, peace and comfort and knowing that uh, their well-being, their physical well-being is safeguarded, whether it be through uh, law enforcement or through their own means. For Williams, there isn't much peace now, especially because whoever killed his son is still free. Turn yourself in. You know what you've done. And um, I'll just put it in God's hand. And in the meantime, Chicago's gun ban is in the hands of the Supreme Court. Brooke Bowen, Northwestern News Network.